Anybody ever been to Universal Hollywood or Florida? Right? Okay, you know, that's a big place, right? The one in Hollywood, 500 acre back lot, and these people were all over that lot. So fortunately, as a perk of my position, I had my golf cart. I got my little golf cart and drove from place to place, you know, past the western town and the parting of the Red Seas and all that kind of stuff. And I met with the people. I communicated face to face. And first of all, I kept hearing, wow, you're the first person from corporate who's ever been over here. Apparently no one had been. So they seemed like a very simple thing to do. I was sort of inventing the wheel there. But they were so flattered because what I wanted to do was make them part of our success. Not make them, but invite them. So I explained what the mission was, what we hoped to do, found out a little bit about them and what they were trying to do, and pretty soon we found this melding because suddenly they had a purpose. They had a reason to be involved. And pretty soon the agendas melded, the silos went away, and we were there working together. We all had a shared purpose. It was that idea of, of sharing the success, sharing the accomplishment, the creativity, giving other people authority for making up ideas that would work. And we were able to blend that together and share success. And what happens, and why people don't do that more often, and yes, I know lots of people do, but in all the groups I work with companies all across the country, and they get stuck. Organizations get stuck because individuals get stuck. It's as simple as that. And what keeps us stuck? It's just plain old fear. You can call it anything you want. You can call it the economic climate, or restructuring, or I don't have the time or the money. I mean, whatever it is, it's just plain old fear that keeps us from trying something new, from innovating, from trying something that's risky or different. There was a study done at Emory. And I, I don't want this to be an abstract idea because what I find is that hope is that necessary and sometimes missing ingredient in the workplace. So I want to define it for you and bring it down to earth so that you can, you can harness this idea and take it back to the workplace with you. And hope is actually comes from the old English word. I want to give you the, the derivation of this is hopian, and it's an old English word, and it, it means to leap forward with expectation. Now, it's a really interesting idea. You'll see these things in, in your handouts, in your guide there, but hope is that sense of you can leap forward, you can move forward despite the obstacles. And of course, most of us don't deal with those sorts of horrendous situations, those dramatic examples. But nonetheless, we all know those, those everyday heroes of hope. You know those people in your life that, that seem like no matter what gets thrown at them, whether it's illness, financial problems, kids with special needs, the loss of a job or a loved one, whatever it is, they're the ones who just keep fighting. They just keep coming back. And they maintain this sense of hopefulness.